Hey everybody, how are you? It's Peter again for MLB Trade Rumors and Discussions. It's Saturday, January 18, 2020. Keeping this going every single day for the rest of the year, just like I promised you guys. I told you it's, um, I'm away from my birthday weekend this weekend, but I still want to talk about a couple of things really fast, just because I always there's always something to talk about in MLB, right? And I didn't talk about the Diamondbacks yesterday because there really wasn't much to talk about. But they interviewed Mike Hazen yesterday, and they, Mike Hazen said... He wouldn't hold his breath for something big, right? Everybody was talking about, can you get Chris Bryant? Are you guys going to do something big? And he said, it's looking less and less likely. A couple things here. Hazen is not Dave Stewart. <laughs> he will do what he wants when it fits, right? It does mean that they're probably still going to look for somebody. It's very possible that it's not going to be Chris Bryant. That's fine. But he is still looking. It's no way are they going to go into this. But Hazen is he's like a poker player. He's so brilliant. He won't put his cards down. But it's still what it means is that they still have to go get someone, right? It may not be Chris Bryant. If it's true what he's saying, maybe it is Kevin Pillar. But, again, they it's getting a little bit anxious for Diamondbacks fans. I am getting a little bit anxious because we're still waiting. The moves have been very, very slow. So I'm not sure what's happening with Hazen, but at least that people ask the question. And there's no way he's going to come out and say, well, yeah, we're going to get Chris Bryant. He needs to make it sound, downplay it, right? Because then it's just going to look worse and worse if he's, you know, he, he don't want anybody to know what he's, who he's going after. But honestly, as a diehard fan, there's no way he's just going after one more bullpen piece or maybe a bench guy. That, that just doesn't make sense to me, Right. So that's why I feel like it's a lie because say it is that. So who's playing second then if Marte's in center? It, are they really going to go into the season with just a comfortable with Rojas and Labaya? I, I don't see that happening. So it's probably going to be either Kevin Pillar or if if I had to guess, they will they could get an infielder and then just platoon it. But I, I again I still see them pulling off something like a Castellanos or a Jackie Bradley Jr. if it's a little bit less of a move or Starling Marte like I was saying I still see them doing something that Hazen is and it's got to be within a week there's around 24 days 25 days before the season starts and if they don't get that done within the next week or two it's just they want to get the team ready before the the pitchers and catchers report right you want to know what your team looks like before you go into the season so what I'm looking for and what I think all us Diamondback fans are looking for is some kind of closure on what our team is going to look like before the season because I think we all know that it, this is not going to be the team yet. So, I mean, Brock Holt was a bench guy that was rumored to go. The Reds like him. So I'm surprised why, if they were going for a bench guy, why not go for like a Zobrist or a Brock Holt if that was the case. I don't think it would be taking this long if they were going for a bench guy. The only way that is going to happen is if they are they looking for... Like if the deals all fall through and, you know, people are, the fans are looking, for, the team is looking for more of a ridiculous amount of prospects back. And if that's the case, then I can see why they would do that. But for me, I know I sound like a parrot, but something still has to happen. It's been very slow, very quiet. It's really hard to come up with stuff to talk to you guys about at this point because we're just waiting. We're just waiting. So we're going to continue to wait. We'll see what happens within the next couple of days I would say it's going to happen before Friday something good's going to happen expect the Diamondbacks to make a move before Friday that's my opinion anyway guys um, hopefully we'll talk tomorrow and then keep it going from there take care